Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. Under Florida law, for police to seize assets from a person, with some exceptions, must first make an arrest. The proposed federal policy would allow police to seize assets without any evidence if they're willing to share the goods with the federal government. Criminal defense attorney Richard Greenberg is concerned the new policy would create scenarios where people's assets could be taken in a way not allowed under Florida law. An innocent owner can have their property seized and then they have to fight to try to get that property back. State Senator Jeff Brandy supported unanimously approved legislation in 2016, which created the restrictions on civil forfeiture in Florida. This, I think, highlights the property rights exist. Now he fears Sessions' proposal would damage the state's control over the practice. The 2016 law that requires an arrest to be made before property can be seized also requires local law enforcement agencies to report seizures to the state. The first report is due in October. Orange County Sheriff and President of the Florida Sheriff's Association, Jerry Demings, says the proposed federal policy changes includes a number of restrictions and safeguards, which he believes will prevent misuse of civil forfeitures. I don't see it as opening anything up. To the contrary, it really tightens the rules up. Still, attorney Richard Greenberg says any expansion to civil forfeiture could open the door to abuse. It's been called policing for profit where law enforcement agencies are more concerned about seizing assets to fund their own operations than they are for public safety. Nearly half of the states have passed laws restricting civil forfeiture. Florida's law is not the most restrictive. In Tallahassee, I'm Jake Stofan.